24 hour Zoom, seven days a week and um, till the next four weeks. Um, a little bit of challenge, but um, we have to um, give ourselves ourselves some challenges. Um, without challenge, uh, growth is not possible. <coughs> okay. Um, good. Um, where shall we start? Um, perhaps here. Um, so I ended with this little picture uh, a couple of hours ago. Um, you know, I started this whole story by looking on the pyramids. And I came to the conclusion that the pyramids have a lot to do with the situation we are in at the moment. My idea was there was a civilization which was doomed and they knew that they were doomed and did everything in the world to leave us messages, to leave us messages that we will come again to the situation in a big, big cycle to avoid that the civilization will do the same mistake it did some 26,000 years ago. And so interestingly, if you look on so symbols around uh, the pyramids, uh, there's a god, Re and Set. And is it possible it's all about the reset or the great reset, which now starts? Yeah. One particular thing is that the pyramids now are perfectly orientated towards thousand and north. So, however, there is a deviation in this 26,000 year cycle of 2.1 degree. And the deviation now is smaller than a 500 of one degree. So now it's perfect orientated. And now this synchronicity <coughs> um, with re and sad. And the other thing is corona. Why corona? And re and sad are forming a like a crown, a crown to this leading uh, pharaoh. And crown... Um, Andreas, you are very quiet. Okay. Shall I put on my microphone? Thank the you. audio yes. speak is not okay. Thanks. So, Corona... is in German, or if you make out of that a German word, it's crow, and now you change it around, then you have an E. So you turn the A around and you get an E. And it is allowed in this kind of rearrangement to make this here, to make Krona. And so you may write it in Germany as Krone. So this is German. And put it in English, it's crown. And in this Pink Floyd song, Fearless, um, they sing, and who's the fool who wears the crown? Go down in your own way, and every time is the right time. 
So again, some synchronicities. Uh, so is it really possible that the whole Giza thing, which is not quite small, is really a message to us that we now do the right thing, that we establish now three types of pyramids. We don't go in a struggle. We may defend ourselves, but we do not go in a battle or in a war. They declared war to us. But we just use our time to organize us in the way the Giza pyramids show, are showing to us. Do you think this is special, re really and sad? At the end of the day, are building a crown and that this corona thing exactly transformed in German, rearranged in German means Krone and in English it's crown. Who is the fool who wears the crown? Okay, this is a way of interpretation of the things I see and I get. And so you may understand that it, it makes sense. So I can start anywhere and I always come to the same conclusion. Just an idea. And there was a plan um, also, I think it was founded, the guys were founded called Illuminati in about 130 years, uh, 100, no, sorry, exactly 150 years ago, in 1870. Also here in Bavaria. And they ruled out a plan to enslave the whole civilization. And one part of that plan is to make out of politicians, to make out of leaders, um, cartoon-like figures. And now have a look on some health ministers, some politicians. Do they look like leaders or do they look more or less like figures in a, in a cheap cartoon? Are those the leaders, they want to teach us health? So would you trust those guys, those figures, that they know anything about health? So, who of you would trust them any recommendation? Though they are the leaders uh, of health, they know what's good for us. However, they do not seem that they even know what's good for them. Good. Um, And there are some testing now with uh, this corona thing, with this corona vaccine. Uh, some results look like that. Um, or like that. Does those results look promising? That you really think there's uh, aliens in the inner mantle? Uh, so, no, they are, how you call them, volunteers, who volunteer to get the shot. And do you want to follow them?
So it's so obvious that the whole thing is so stupid and it's quite clear that we have to find the way out. And so I'm presenting now my audience since six months uh, that there is a plan, a big plan, a master plan um, designed by those guys who build it, who built the pyramids. And what they did is to design a plan to escape this prison. Yes, this sounds, this pl plan sounds a little bit crazy or unusual, but if you are looking on the things which are going on out there, um, it has to be somewhat crazy to escape this prison. Or what they would call crazy, other guys would call it genial or a plan from a genius. And this is what we need at the moment. But there's always a way out. There's always an escape. So, and it's now our job to identify this plan, this master plan and follow it through. And one thing of that was, um, one information, one big information was this short video I just show you um, called In Shadow or A Modern Odyssey. So what we are doing is really a modern odyssey. It might not, not look uh, as an adventure you're accustomed to, but what we are now doing together is a really, is really an adventure. One in a 26,000 year cycle. So everybody who joins in is part of this unbelievable adventure. Who of you likes or decided for themselves to be part of this adventure? Who of you loves to be part of this adventure? Thank you. Okay. I think yesterday we were about here or oh, 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 oh. there. No, I think we were here. But not really here, but more or less there. That's all German, or? Yeah, it's German, but I translate it. Um, so sometimes I am a little bit lazy. However, um, I um, translate it for you. I think this was the last chart from yesterday. May I repeat it? Um, our soil uh, gives us about 80 different elements, trace elements, minerals. And each one has a particular meaning, a special job to do in our body a special biochemical, biophysical job. And till now we did not identify any of those elements in this periodic table of the elements, which has no meaning, no benefits for us. 
Um, there are even studies showing that the deficiency of mercury is harmful to our body. Um, and like an old guy called Paracelsus put it in words, uh, it's a matter of dosage, whether a substance is a poison or not. So it's all about the right dose. And our problem is that any plant takes out of this agricultural soil um, all elements, all 80 elements, in a special balanced concentration. And what we are doing is we put more or less this stuff on our fields, which contain more or less just three main minerals, potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus. And this means that our field, that our soil is depleted at 80-90% of the minerals and elements we need, our, our biochemistry and our biophysics needs. And thus, in the first place, our immune system gradually, gradually um, quits its job. Our immune cells can't work in the way they are designed to work. And once we recognize that, we may start working on the solution. But most of those who deal with health and nutrients aren't aware that we all need those 80 elements. And it makes always sense how nature works. And nature works with trees. So all the plants, all the things that we incorporate, which we eat, grow in the area of trees. And trees have the assignment to get with their deep roots, which are going down 10, 15 meters. They suck all the minerals out of the soil. All elements, all minerals, which are soluble, in water or in special water enriched with humic um, acids, which uh, elevate the solubility even of those species, those elements which are um, which have a very low solubility. And though the roots are sucking all the things in driven by this evaporation processes by the leaves. And all those minerals are sucked into the wooden ma ma matrix. And by the use of this um, evaporation process of water, all those minerals are enriched and at some time, the saturation concentration is reached. And from this point, very small crystals of all kinds of minerals and elements f uh, f f fell out, are falling out. And in the cellular structure of the wooden part of a tree, 
um, they rise and they grow like li little pearls inside of a shell. And in these very small dimensions, they are perfect bioavailable. So at some time, a tree will die, and all the mineral it has enriched over decades, centuries, um, go inside this special soil where our plants normally live or get all the stuff out. And also the animals who ate those plants enriched those minerals and trace elements. So if we feed ourselves from nature, this is always perfect mineralized with the perfect balance. But this mineral, this natural mineral balance has changed now. And so did our health changed. But this was a very slow process. We are not aware that our health changed. We have all kind of challenges according to our health. And however, if we understand that, we can turn it all around. Um, so I'm telling this story since like 15 years. Um, I'm telling to the people that we even need gold as a very important nutrient. And uh, this was just logical thinking. And um, so it was in 2014 where uh, a news magazine in German uh, had the headline, in Australia, gold can um, climb up the trees. And I tell you, this happens not just in Australia, it happens everywhere. So, yes, if you take wooden ash, you identify gold in wooden ash. You would identify platinum, you would identify every element on the earth every element of the table of the elements. Um, you know this from your chemistry lesson when you had been in school. Do you remember that? Yeah? <laughs> so these are about 80 elements. And <clears throat> so the green marked elements are official, officially uh, qualified to be essential. This is a very special or for me unlogical categorization of the elements uh, we have in our body, we have in our food. <clears throat> so the green ones are qualified, officially qualified to be essential. Uh, the red marked elements are not designed officially to be essential. However, there are a load of studies which suggest that they are very important. So, probably essential. But some experts um, refuse to give them the qualification to be essential. Because if they would use this qualification to be essential, it must be um, um, used in fertilizers. It must officially be allowed to be supplemented. In Germany, it is not allowed to supplement in a nutrition supplement product these red marked elements. In the USA it's allowed, in Europe it's not. 
and those who are not marked, still white, <coughs> they are also forbidden. However, there is not so much literature, there's not so much study which indicate that it's essential. However, there's not one element I show you here which is proven to be not essential or not important or has no chemical or biochemical value for us. And uh, so it's a bit of a pity in my seminars, <clears throat> in my live seminars, um, I would give you samples of those elements uh, in a special... Um, in a special concentration, in a special matrix of uh, natural salts, natural elements. Uh, so normally, when I speak about an element, you would have the chance to test it and get a very um, f a feeling on very short notice, in the scope of seconds, what it does to you, what your feeling would be. Um, so it sounds unbelievable and people in my seminars are looking with wide open eyes and think that's not possible. So I like to start giving them, for example, chromium. Chromium sounds a little bit like a heavy metal. Um, however, if you would take chromium, does anybody know what would happen? Is Anna still awake? Or is she sleeping? <laughs> or is here anybody who just, who once joined my seminar? I'm here, I'm here. I just had some. <laughs> okay. So Anna, tell me about chromium. Um, I just don't know right now what's the specific effect of chromium. I didn't take it for a long time, so <laughs> I don't know. Right okay. Now. But I think uh, Meral just had it last in the last days. Do you, do, do you have some chromium in Lavantal? I found a few and I gave it to her because you told her to take it. So I think she she must be here. Maybe she says something? I think it has a number <clears throat> 20. Bambi? Yeah, I'm here. Um, I took the chromium. Oh, oh, two, oh. This is double, uh, triple chromium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's a little bit of pity. I have to tell you. <clears throat> So the special thing about chromium, you take it and instantly um, you send that the, the mode of your breathing becomes much deeper. Yeah, it's much more easy to breathe. So you're, you're not, you do not think at the moment that your breathing is somewhat restricted. But if you take chromium, you feel very much released that the, the breathing mode is, becomes very easy and very deep. So just an example. From a chemical viewpoint, I know what ha what's happening. So chromium likes carbon monoxide. Yeah, and we produce in our process to produce energy, we produce carbon monoxide. And this carbon monoxide is blocking the iron part of our hemoglobin, hemoglobin molecule. And once you take chromium, it removes the part of the hemoglobin which um, is blocked by carbon monoxide. And so, from the very first moment, you have more 
unplugged uh, hemoglobin um, to use. Um, yes, chromium is essential, but it seems that the amount or the dosage of chromium, which is, for example, allowed in a nutrition supplement product, is much too low. So whether the good minerals are not allowed, or those who are allowed are only allowed in a very mm, small concentration, in a very small dose. Or another element uh, which I in the seminar gives you a lot is lithium. Do you know what's happen if you get lithium? Any idea? It increases your happiness. Exactly. And instantly. Yeah. So this is one more reason to go to the Lavantal. I think we have a lot of those minerals still there and you will get some more in the next days or the next week. Oh, you have one? You have a, a test package? I was at your seminar three years ago. You had in my seminar, okay. Yes, and I bought a lot and I still haven't used it. So I looked at it and it's still up until 2022. Okay, in, in which seminar uh, did you participate? Uh, in Passau. Okay. The first one. Okay. Not part two. And um, so you have experience since about two, three years? Yes, three years, 2017 it was. Okay, and what did it do? Um, did actually, it as I told you... Um, um, Is it a fake product? No, it's, it's a great product, of course. That's why I haven't used it at, up until now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I have used BASIC and BASIC+. Plus. Yes. And then I just stopped using it. And then I discovered it again that I still have it. Has, okay. have it. And I also had nickel. I don't know what's in English. Nickel. Uh, nickel. And um, I gave it to my sister-in-law, to the wife of my brother when she was pregnant and when she was um, giving milk to the babies. Yes. And she's like the greatest mother I know. She 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 was able to um, to to give uh, milk to both of her kids with no interruption. Okay. Because so, I remember you were telling this on the seminar. So yeah. So when I had it, I all gave it to her. When young mothers don't have enough uh, milk, uh, it might be a, a problem with nickel. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Good. I, I think that was from the universe that she stopped to take it because she lives in Hamburg and me too and maybe she can help me a little with it. <laughs> um, yes, we will see each other on Sunday. Uh, that sounds reasonable, yeah, sure. Um, so Karina knows that all. It's just a reminder for you. Um, this element called rubidium, it's a very nice one. You take it and instantly your, um, how you put it in words, your angle uh, of you, you you've, um, gets widened. Fight of you. Pardon? Pardon? Uh, field of you. Field of you. Your your field of you. Oh, I don't okay. know how to pronounce. A good night. Brighten your view. Brighten your view. Yeah, that that makes sense. 
no tunnel vision. So, so it's a little bit of a pity that uh, this is very theoretical, yeah. But normally, it really makes much sense at this point in time. You uh, should be able to test it. And yeah, I'm quite a little bit sorry that um, two weeks ago I had I should have a seminar out there with 100 people which was booked out and I had to cancel that. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to make seminars. Did you, Karina, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, a lot. We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so everybody enjoyed it, even me, who had the, the job to do. <laughs> me too. I was also at a seminar. Where? I have forgotten the place, but it was in a castle, in the cellar of the castle. Okay, it was uh, near Cologne. It was... Uh, yes. Um, I just forgot the name as well. Thank you. <laughs> now I don't feel lonely. <laughs> yeah. With the forgetting. It was, it was Castle of Merode. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, it was a little bit cold there, but uh, uh, so you need some more of those minerals. <clears throat> okay. Um, so extremely important are those um, precious metals. Uh, First, gold. <clears throat> so we need gold in order to, to be bright, to, to think logical. Uh, so a deficiency of gold makes people stupid. So it's quite easy if you just eat food with a definite deficiency of gold, people must become stupid. Um, who of you did ever um, taste or test um, iridium? I. <laughs> okay. Me too. It's my favorite. Okay. So did you also join one of my seminars? Uh, my husband. Okay. Two. Two times. Times, yes. They lasted for, uh, for two years ago. Yeah. Uh, in the time, uh, Krista Jasinski was there. And, okay. And he's uh, so really. Yeah. Was, yeah. Okay, so you, you like iridium? Yes, but now I have no more. <laughs> okay. So I think a little bit of them we just do have. Um, okay, so it's a little bit, um, for me, it's not so, so exciting to just talk about the elements. Um, so a really funny element is, uh, we call it lantanium. And if you take, and we uh, escalate uh, to use lantanium, and <clears throat> then you can control your emotions uh, very directly. So if you take lantanium, um, you be get a feeling like you just drank alcohol. You are very funny. Yeah. However, you can switch from this funny mode into a very serious mode in the split of a second. And another thing we do in seminars, we escalate vanadium. 
And so a deficiency of vanadium is linked to the development of diabetes uh, type 2. And we call it, it's mimicking um, insulin. And uh, when you take a lot of them, <clears throat> you, you feel very strong and you want to move yourself. You want to, to, to do something very physical. And uh, vanadium is related to those, to a god, to a German goddess called Vanadin. And Vanadin is the god, goddess of beauty. And so it's really, it makes fun to, to make experiments, experiments, to make studies with those elements and minerals. So I enjoyed it very much to produce the stuff and um, make studies with it. Would you please explain the iridium, what it does? You didn't go there. Okay. Um, didn't I ever told you the story when I first took iridium? It really talked to me. Cannot recall. So I took uh, I took iridium uh, sitting in a garden in the sunshine and had my first iridium cocktail. I nipped on it and then there comes a voice which was inside of my head telling me atoms are living beings. In German, Atome sind lebendig. Yeah? Yeah, okay. So I nipped a second time. Atoms are living beings. Yes, okay. Atoms are living beings! I heard it. Atoms are living beings! Okay, I got it. Then I went inside, switched on the computer, and um, googled... Um, atom living atoms and the first strike was Etienne Sekelay theory of living atoms and I started to read that and this then shivers down my spine I was so much excited I thought I never read something so so brilliant and it's a theory about everything yeah about our universe about the biggest and the smallest things yeah and it was all about that i made this cocktail of iridium put it in the sunlight and start nipping on it this is a true story and so it very much enhances uh, your, your ability of intuition. And I think that's all about what we need at the moment. We need intuition to, intu intuition to do the right things. So we are so much stuck in our left brain thinking. Yeah. And so there is much more about the things there's much more about that we think what's possible and what's not possible and we have to redevelop our cap capability of, of intuition and trust our intuition um, yeah and uh, I think Iridium is extremely strong on that and I would uh, make a how you call it I, I, I would make a bag uh, or I think that I'm the guy on the face of the planet who probably took at most of um, iridium 
um, with his food or has utmost amount of iridium in his body. Because um, to make iridium bioavailable is really a tough job. And uh, so I developed the technology to make the th minerals and the elements which are extremely difficult to to put it in a bioavailable available oh, must drink something. So there are some elements which really have a bioavailability bioavailability problem. And Iridium is um, the toughest thing you can think about. And so my technology could be perfectly applied to Iridium to make it bioavailable. And uh, also this thing, uh, Rhodium. If you can't take it, I have to take it. Oh, shit. Oh. There I have rhodium, and so rhodium is the most important, uh, no, sorry, the most expensive element. So a little sheet or a little. 30 grams of rhodium um, have a price has a price of about 12 to 15 thousand euros just 30 gram so it's damn expensive yeah um, however I'm I'm very curious about the things and uh, so I have to work around also with those things and you have to know uh, in college in university I, I I worked with rhodium and as chemist I get the notice rhodium is is a heavy metal and very toxic and so when I worked with rhodium, I had a mask, uh, uh, safety glasses, um, very thick gloves, uh, rubber gloves, my um, white, not my white suit, but my white thing I put around was very much closed. So I was a little bit scared or frightened to get too much rhodium. And some years after that, I went to a seminar in Hawaii and I learned it's good to eat rhodium. <laughs> and rhodium enhances your senses. Yeah, so your capability to hear improves. You just uh, are witnessing that my voice uh, changes a little bit. Yeah, um, so it's really interesting stuff. Yeah, and you have to know it's normal. It's natural. And so the things which are natural, you just have to think about what's the right dose. But as long as you produce the things in a natural way, um, it's not possible that they harm you. Uh, but you have to pay attention to not overdose them. So if you are designing them in a natural way and gradually enhance them, enhance the dosage. 
it's not possible that you harm yourself. So as an alchemist, you always start with a low dosage and enhance them. And yeah, and for me, that's, um, I love this job. Yeah, for me, it's extremely interesting. Yeah, it, it makes fun. And so I had the good fortune always to do things where, where I had fun. So I would never ever do anything I, I wouldn't have fun. Sometimes it may be a little bit stressy, yeah? But I have to have fun. <laughs> and alchemy is really funny. Um, should we do a little bit more alchemy? So we are nearly at the end of our seminar today. Uh, this is isopropyl alcohol. Donna, when you're driving, you shouldn't drink that. Even the police can't test it. It's alcohol, but it's not the way of the alcohol the police guys know. And they will not look for it. And they will not look for it you might become very funny and very relaxed and they're looking deep into your eyes and think she did it <laughs> but you did it in another way okay so this is now my dosage for tonight so i started three or four uh, days ago with isopropyl alcohol it sound uh, it smells like a remover of this um, glue which you put on your fingernails yeah nail polish nail polish yeah and uh, so it smells a little bit special uh, however <laughs> one once you start you have to follow through Cheers. Cheers. So it's it's a little bit funny, yes. And uh, so you cannot harm yourself by starting with small doses. And do you know why I'm playing around with, with isopropyl alcohol? You know, I'm on the way to disclose the big plan, the master plan. And um, you know that I, I've identified this um, iPad Goat in this cartoon iPad Goat. Um, there's very important information hidden. And Meral and, um, and Anna, you really made perfect work, great work on, 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 decoding this iPad Goat stuff. And you have to put it on reverse speech. And then you listen to the word isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol is not a toxin. And that was enough reason for me to test it. Did you hear it? Bitte lauter. Okay. 
okay, I, I think uh, I have to extract that and um, making it a little bit up for you. So there's a lot of information hidden in reverse speech in iPad Goat. And isopropyl is not a toxin. Do not induce vomiting. <laughs> and it really sounds there is information coming in from a higher dimension, which rules out for us this master plan, how to get out of this prison, how to get out of this slavery and yeah it it smells a bit special but and you might get some some headache in the very first moment um but overall i think it's useful so what my idea is that what they are spraying all over the sky. Officially, they say um, it's barium, alumina, stuff like that. This is what they are testing. But one has to pose the question, what do they spray what's not tested? Or what's very difficult to test? Or what's not tested on a, on a standard base? And so my question is so my question is always my primary question who is on the top of the pyramid and assume there is a kind of artificial intelligence ruled by some artificial conscious material we may call it black goo and the core of this artificial artificial ruling computer is interfering with with us so the question is is it possible that they are spraying a kind of black goo a kind of smart oil, smart buckyballs, fullerenes called, they are called. Um, is it possible that they are spraying this? Put on some support matrix like alumina or alumina barium compounds or structures. But they never ever officially uh, use the word black goo supported on an alumina barium um, matrix. And as I understand the chemistry of isopropyl alcohol, it might stick on this black goo stuff and might help to detoxify, to get it out, to cleanse our system from this black goo stuff. And this is why I'm testing that. So at least you, um, you witness that since I'm drinking isopropyl alcohol, my English becomes better. <laughs> I know this feeling. But, okay. but from another substance, it's from terpentine. Okay, so this is the old stuff. Uh, and, and no, uh, isopropyl alcohol works another way. I'm quite sure on that. I know. Um, so turpentine oil is even more hard to drink. Yeah, so... Uh, you cannot mix it with water. It's uh, it's not soluble with water. Uh, so drinking turpentine is very hard stuff. Yeah, and uh, so my idea is that this isopropyl alcohol may interfere with black goo in a healthy way. And. Hmm. 
<laughs> it sounds weird, but yesterday evening something comes out of my nose, which was which was quite black. <laughs> so some viscose material which looks quite black. Uh, is it possible that this is a result from drinking isopropyl alcohol? I'm talking about weird stuff here in the middle of the night, is it? I, I would like to toast with you. <laughs> Cheerio, Miss Sophie. <laughs> Did you take a picture of that stuff came, coming out of your nose? Hmm? Anna, turn on your video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was quite black. Okay, I would like to see that next time it comes out. I throw it away. And I think things which are not looking so, so, <laughs> so attractive, uh, I prefer to put in the waste well then and I, I would... have to try it myself right yeah <laughs> and um, if, if something comes out of your nose you will probably show me for sure is it no <laughs> <laughs> you show me so then I think about showing you <laughs> <laughs> showing me showing you <laughs> funny okay <clears throat> That was a funny session now of our <laughs> English hard stuff. Um, stuff. Yes, we told it. Yeah, so turpentine is really hard stuff. So we have Donna and still Heidemarie. And what do we have to do that we really get all the Americans um, participating on our Zoom conference? So I think we have to design now a plan. So it can't go on that way. So what do we have to do to really uh, get awareness from the states? Because you need this information, you need this message. Donna, tell me. No, I don't know. Uh, okay, okay, Donna, you don't know, for sure. Uh, however, <laughs> assume you would know. You don't know, assume yes. I would know. But assume you would know. What, what do would I do? do? So tell me. them questions and seeing if they have interest. Okay. Then um, tomorrow morning you start making graffitis, painting graffitis to all kind of house walls. Listen to the Zoom of Andreas Noack. <laughs> Join the Zoom conference of Andreas Noack. It's got to be a benefit to them, so... So, you know how to paint graffitis? Oh, you no. may you may start with the graffiti on your car. That's legal. Don't tell me no. <laughs> uh, Donna, you know whether Heidemarie has a nice car to make advertising for us. She has a nice car, I'm quite sure on that. Heidi. Hey. I have no car, my husband has a car. <laughs> That's okay as well. You may, you, you may paint something like a sticker, so you don't have to put this gravity directly uh, on the car. Well, I send I send out emails and I send out messages on Facebook on different people, so I'm working on it. But 
What else can I do? Working harder. <laughs> Every time I think maybe I see somebody there today, nope. Okay. <laughs> Though the, the Americans can't imagine that something good comes out of Germany. Well, off the, off the record, Americans don't like when Europeans getting in their business. Okay. That's what somebody told me one time, way back in the time. I don't know if it has changed. Yeah, I think uh, most of your alternative media are controlled and they don't like when somebody which is not controlled gets into their business. So however, we might start to get the things a little bit out of control. Because it's not so easy to establish uh, an information channel, a media channel, which is not controlled. Because a media channel which is not controlled is um, a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous for the system and a little bit dangerous for the, that guy who makes things out of control. He might live an unhealthy life. And he might end up with an overdose of lead. Or something like that. Um, yeah, the question is, what do we have to do now? There must be a way to get the Americans involved in that because there is this fearless thing from Pink Floyd and this is more than a strong indication that the American citizens have to join in the process. Sorry. I think every American have to drink isopropyl and turpentine to become clear. Uh, this kind of recommendations they don't like. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, come on. I think that's why. So fearless, um, shows the location where we have to gather, where we have to meet ourselves. And if you're looking on that, this is Florida. These are the keys of Florida. Though that means the process has to start also in the United States. Oh, this master plan involves Central Europe, where we meet in Austria, and it involves the states where you have to meet in Florida, in the Keys. 
Yes, his story sounds absolute crazy. But in order to succeed, we have to stick to this master plan. These are the keys of Florida. I had been 12 months ago there. I don't understand why, why you say the keys. Wouldn't I be safer closer by the mountains? Um, you know, <clears throat> if you analyze the strategic territories by Sun Tzu, uh, these are territories where you are somewhat safe, yeah? Safe according to military equipment. Though so they have a problem if you come together nearby a swamp. They're, they have a problem. And there's, a, there's much food, you have fishes, and so on. And, and alligators. <laughs> yeah, but we are stronger than alligators. Yeah, and they taste also nice. We are more. And, you know, I don't say that I know everything, yeah, but I know that I'm decoding this stuff. And I don't have to understand everything. I just have to collect the picture and, the picture and have to forward it to you. Maybe going into the mountains makes also some sense. But the process has to start. And knowing this from our own experience now in Austria, the process to start building groups is anything but easy. Yeah, so you have the arguments and not everybody comes along with everybody else in a perfect way but we have to learn that so in order that we become really good in that we have to start it we have to start the process and there's a reason I don't know, I do not understand perfectly, but it seems that you from the states have to gather in the key area. Maybe there are more open-minded people in the area of Miami or something like that or on the East Coast. So it looks a little bit that on the West Coast, Donna and you are assumptions. Uh, uh, you're, you're more or less um, you're a little bit not normal. You are um, I don't have the word in the moment for in the moment. Exception. For, exactly, thank you. You are exce exceptions. Yes. Uh, and it might start on the East Coast, on the southern part of the East Coast. And then it spread all over the country. But you have to have a, a crystal 
a starting crystal where you start the process. And this starting crystal is located um, in the key area of Florida. And you know, in Florida and the Keys, there are a lot of people who really have money and they will lose everything. Um, in the scope of this great reset, all your earnings, all you have will be taken off you. We will remain with nothing. Your woman will be sterilized. And even the parts of your body don't belong to you for long for for some time. If you don't have a stand. And you know I'm starting with this Zoom conference six months ago. And so I don't know everything, but I know that the information I put on the Zoom conference forward is the information that I get. And it seems that this information really is correct. And you know, six months ago, many of my friends, of my ex-friends, thought I'm crazy, I'm out of my mind. What I'm doing? And, you know, these six months had been extremely important. If I would start now, we wouldn't have any chance. to get this all turned around. However, after this little favor done by the German police on the 18th of November, um, my face became really famous. So about one billion of, of people around the world know my face, know what happened here in Germany. And so this is something you can build up a big thing. Something really big. And it will turn out that all your hope you invested in Donald Trump will evaporate quite soon. And it does not make sense to trust on anybody else but yourself. There is no white knight riding on a white horse over the hill and coming to save you. You have to do it by yourself. And everything else is just wishful thinking. So we all been we all have been lullabied by this wishful thinking all the time. But really now is the point of time where you have to become awake. And it's not that you have to trust anyone in the media. Because according to the plan uh, ruled out by those Illuminati, which founded itself in the area of Ingolstadt, of the castle of Ingolstadt, some 150 years ago, mentioned nobody in the media shall publish information which is not agreed to be published. That means that everybody in the media has to be controlled and they stick to the words of their plan.
nobody is allowed in the media to publish something which is not agreed to be published. And those who are in this media business since years, they wouldn't be there if they are not controlled. So this would be in opposition uh, to their plan. And yeah, some people are killed in a car accident or it happens all the time. So it's not a big thing. And everybody in the media business know where, where this red line is located. And they all, yes, they are, they are opposing government policy. But they never ever touch the things, the topics, which are really important, which might be dangerous for this, so the power that, that is. And therefore, it's not that we think or we should expect that we are supported by the media you know, but they are the normal people. The normal people which have to be involved. And they will not get decent information with their media of choice. Whether it's Alex Jones or people like that. So the people watching listen to mainstream media are captured. And those who listen to alternative media are captured as well. And we have to get them free. We have them to listen to our channel. So, Heidi, Donna, just do it. <laughs> okay. So, and we Europeans are not as bad as you think. Yeah. Sometimes we have pretty good ideas. And whether you believe me or not, this crazy story, at least it is uh, somewhat entertaining. Or is anybody bored here? This is boring what I'm doing. No. It's funny crazy, is it? Okay. Oh, can, can I tell you something? Do, do you remember at the girl, she have a Galladium toxic? Yeah. Yeah. I have helped her with, with your, um, what you have told me in the past. So I have helped her with this knowledge and I have um, combined this with with cleverness, with uh, the cleverness of feeling. So, um, okay. because um, the doctor told her she shouldn't eat green things. She shouldn't eat this and that and that. And she have 10 sides of things what she don't have to eat. And I say to her, the doctor is stupid. He don't know it. He, he isn't more intelligent than your body. And you have to eat clever things, what makes your immune system clever also, that the mm -hmm. immune system have the chance to, to, um, to end toxic, also to make the opposite. To toxify. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so, and I told her, um, go to the uh, organic um, 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 food store. Yes, yeah. and you know, organic store and buy broccoli. I don't know how to say in English. Broccoli. And, yes, and garlic and um, some other good things, a grapefruit also, and, and make a salad with that. And she, and, and, and I say, stop, eat bread. Yeah, she was eating bread every day. Okay. <laughs> and, 
and I say stop it <laughs> and and she do have done that she listened to me and she have made a salad with broccoli and all the other good things and at the next day she told me wow I feel so well and I'm yes I slept well I feel well today I, I what feel a surprise yes clever clever more clever and she said also now she feel how bad the bread was <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay good so we have to get the united states we have to get our brothers and sisters so let's make up our mind and engage ourselves to save all the united states so for tonight, I think that's it. Have a big hug. And see you a little bit later. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night.